The countdown to Election Day brought new jibes, new ads, and new urgency today. The presidential contenders and their running mates raced from state to state, looking to nail down 270 electoral votes with just 13 days to go. For President Obama, it was the busiest day yet of his re-election campaign. And it began with a flight from Washington to Davenport, Iowa. This is the first stop on our 48-hour fly-around campaign marathon extravaganza. We're going to pull an all-nighter. No sleep. Before the day was done, the president planned to fly more than 5,000 miles. From Iowa, he was headed to Colorado, California, and Nevada. Republican challenger Mitt Romney was also on the move in the opposite direction, starting with an event in Nevada and planning to end the day in Iowa. President Obama won Iowa in 2008, but it's a toss-up this year. He argued today the choice is between a known quantity and a candidate who keeps changing his views. Trust matters. And, and, and here's the thing. Iowa, you know me. You know... You know that I, I say what I mean, and I mean what I say. You could take a videotape of things I said 10 years ago, 12 years ago, and you'd say, man, this is the same guy. Has the same values. Cares about the same people. Doesn't forget where he came from. Knows who he's fighting for. The president also told the Des Moines Register that if he wins, a big reason will be that, quote, Republicans alienated the fastest growing demographic group in the country, the Latino community. He predicted the GOP will join him in finally passing major immigration reform. Well, I'm convinced the people of America... For his part, Romney fired back in Reno. He said the president's been reduced to misplaced attacks on his record. You know, with, with four, four debates behind us, including the vice presidential debate, uh, the president's been unable to find a, an agenda and to communicate an agenda and to defend an agenda. And that's one reason why I think we all know that he's out of ideas and out of excuses. And in November, you're going to put him out of office. For both sides, the stepped-up pace was a sign of just how tight the race is in the closing stage of the campaign. Over the next 13 days, both candidates will barnstorm a series of swing states where the White House will be won or lost. Perhaps none more important than Ohio, where the vice presidential candidates were campaigning today. Well, folks, you probably heard the rumor that Ohio is going to pick the next president of the United States of America. Vice President Biden talked up the president's economic ideas before a crowd in Marion. Because, folks, here's the deal. When the middle class is doing well, everybody does well. The poor have a way up, they got a ladder up, and the wealthy do very, very well. We create a lot of millionaires, which is a good thing, not a bad thing. But that's how you do it. You don't grow from the top down. At that's roughly the same time, Republican vice presidential nominee Paul Ryan was also addressing poverty 120 miles away in Cleveland. So what is the alternative approach that Mitt Romney and I are offering? Well, to hear some tell it, we think everybody should just fend for themselves. That's just a false argument. It's a straw man set up to avoid a genuine debate. The truth is, Mitt Romney and I believe in true compassion and upward mobility. And we are offering a vision based on real reforms for lifting people out of poverty. A new wave of TV ads also debuted in key states. The pro-Romney group American Crossroads began airing this spot in seven states with actor Clint Eastwood. From China. When someone doesn't get the job done, you got to hold them accountable. Obama's second term would be a rerun of the first, and our country just couldn't survive that. The Obama campaign countered with a reminder that just 537 votes in Florida swung the election in 2000 and led to the George W. Bush presidency. So this year, if you're thinking that your vote doesn't count, that it won't matter, well, back then, there were probably at least 537 people who felt the same way. Meanwhile, aides said the president would himself be calling voters tonight from Air Force One for starting the day tomorrow in Florida. Mitt Romney will be headed to Ohio tomorrow.